Second video or part 1 starts from here. Next, preparation of amines using reduction of nitriles. So in this method, the reduction of the cyanide group or what we call as nitrile groups takes place using lithium aluminum hydride, sodium amalgam in presence of ethanol and hydrogen rene nickel. This reaction is used for a sense of amine series because uh, if we consider the pairing alkyl nitrile, so when we uh, reduce it using these reagents, then the final product amine has one more carbon atom as compared to the parent cyanide. This reaction is known as Mendius reaction. So in this Mendius reaction the reduction of cyanide group takes place either using lithium aluminum hydride or sodium amalgam in the presence of ethanol. You can see here that on the left hand side I have taken alkyl nitrile and here I have taken aromatic nitrile. Here we have alkyl nitrile, here we have benzo nitrile. So in both the cases reduction of the nitrile take place. Reduction means addition of hydrogen in presence of some reducing agents. So as you can see here the cyanide used in this reaction has just one alkyl group. In the presence of hydrogen gas and lithium aluminum hydride or sodium amalgam in presence of ethanol, amine is formed having one carbon atom more as compared to the parent cyanide. So amine form has two alkyl groups here. One confusion I want to clear that you must be thinking that here also we have two carbon atoms like if we write here then this one is an alkyl group and here also we have carbon atom then why I am saying here that I have just one alkyl group I'm, I'm not counting this carbon because this carbon is attached to the nitrogen atom through the triple bond and this represents the cyanide group. So presently the carbon along with the nitrogen consists of their cyanide group. It is not a part of this carbon chain. So this is the reason that we are considering just one alkyl group here. But here as you can see in the product that is alkane amine, the carbon is free. It is a part of this carbon chain and it's not a part of the functional group anymore. So this is the reason what we call as ascent of series. Here the carbon atom is a part of the functional group. Here it is a part of uh, the carbon chain. This is the main difference. That is the reason the product alkyl amine has one more carbon atom as compared to the parent cyanide group. Same goes with the aromatic ring. Whether we have the alkyl group or an aromatic uh, ring, the process remains same. Here the carbon is part of the functional group cyanide group. But in presence of the hydrogen and the reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride or sodium amalgam and ethanol get reduced to amine which has one more carbon atom more than the cyanide. So the presence of the alkyl or the aromatic ring won't make any difference. The same reagents and the same process is used to convert nitriles into amines. Now the third method is using hydrogen and rene nickel. Here also you can see that the parent cyanide group has just one alkyl group and the carbon uh, is a part of the functional groups. So in presence of the hydrogen and rene nickel, the reduction of the cyanide group takes place and it forms an intermediate and the final product is alkane amine which has one more carbon atom as compared to the parent cyanide. And same process goes with the aromatic a compound that is benzonitrile. Here also first of all an intermediate is formed and then this intermediate is converted into benzylamine having one more carbon atom as compared to the parent cyanide group. So these are the three reagents we can use in Mendius reactions to convert nitriles into amines. Let us practice two examples. Convert ethane nitrile into ethane amine. Ethane nitrile is CH3CN 
and ethylene amine is CH3, CH2, and H2. Again, I would like to tell you, here you must be thinking that I've written ethane nitrile, but here I have written one cyanide group. So there is a difference in the naming. We can name uh, this compound, the cyanide group, in two ways. When we are using nitrile, we will count the carbon atom of their uh, cyanide group while naming. So that is why we will write here ethane nitrile. And when we are uh, writing in terms of cyanide group, then this is the cyanide group and this is an alkyl group. So I will write it as methyl cyanide. Both of them are same. So there is a difference in the naming. While naming with the suffix nitrile, we have to uh, count the carbon atom of their uh, cyanide group. So we need to convert ethane nitrile into ethane amine. It's quite simple here. What I can do here, I can use uh, any of the reducing agents like lithium, aluminum hydride, or I can use sodium amalgam in presence of ethanol, or I can uh, use hydrogen in presence of rene nickel to convert it into ethane amine having one more carbon atom as compared to the parent cyanide group. Next, convert ethyl chloride into propaneamine. Here the ethyl chloride is CH3, CH2Cl and the propaneamine is CH3, CH2, CH2 and H2. We don't have any direct reason of converting an alkyl halide into uh, amine. So first of all, we need to convert it into uh, nitrile by introducing the cyanide group using alcoholic potassium cyanide. So we will get propane nitrile, that is CH3, CH2, uh, C and here and then I can use any of the reducing agent uh, like lithium aluminum hydride and through this reduction process I can convert it into propaneamine that is CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. Now this propaneamine has one more carbon atom in the carbon chain as compared to the parent cyanide group. So that was all about the preparation of amines in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.